you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D you still have access to Cinema 4D's classic shaders? Cinema 4D's classic material system contains a lot of interesting shaders for surface design. Many of them are still accessible in Redshift. Especially noteworthy are some noise shaders that conceal complex functions behind rather trivial names. Let's visit some of them. Venus, Galaxy or Cyclone, for example, stand for partially or completely swirled concentric turbulence noises. Sunburst is the only option for radio concentric noise in Cinema 4D and Redshift. Flame and Fire stand for tapered or vertically distorted turbulence noise. Water and Marble offer additional Perlin-based noise shaders. Now you may be wondering how these older shaders still work in modern Redshift. Well, it's quite simple. These shaders can be integrated into Redshift via the so-called C4D shader node, but only in the older, expresso-like representation of Redshift materials, the so-called shader graph. This way of creating and displaying Redshift materials was the standard in earlier Redshift versions before the introduction of current node tree materials. However, shader graph materials are still on board. So, in order to work with a C4D shader node, we need to create a shader graph material. To do so, we open the Cinema 4D Preferences, go to Renderer, Redshift and uncheck the option Node Materials for Presets. Then we create a shader graph material. A restart of Cinema 4D is not necessary and to create normal node tree materials again later, the checkbox must of course be ticked again. In the new shader graph material, we now create a C4D shader node and can use all classic Cinema 4D shaders which are purely generative and not interactive. This is because the shaders are automatically baked as pixel textures in a specified resolution at render time. We therefore have to let go of Lumos, Proximal and the like, as well as animated shader effects. But beside that, the C4D shader node provides access to the treasures of good old classic C4D shaders. However, there's a little trick that allows shader graph materials to find their way home into modern node tree materials. The so-called reference node. The reference node references complete materials via drag and drop and is also compatible with the older shader graph materials. It uses the Source drop-down menu to optionally evaluate three aspects that are present at the output node of the reference material – Surface, Displacement or Environment. We are mostly interested in the Surface output. Let's take a look at an example. For the metal of this break disk, I used a shader graph material with a C4D shader node to utilize a swirled noise provided by the classic Galaxy shader. In the final node tree material, I then integrated this shader graph material via a reference node. So, even in modern node tree materials, you still have access to the treasures of classic C4D shaders. Please have a look at the finished project via the link in the video description. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Redshift for Cinema 4D every swirly Wednesday on this channel.